Hey guys, Thomas the Silly Jean. Welcome back to some more of the Outer Worlds. Last time we were bumping it in this base trying to get some power to go to the other places. And, uh, not doing so hot on ammunition right now. I'll tell you that for free. Two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the bank? You are not suspicious of me, sir. Resetting action. Processing. Here they come! Ah! I'm not equipped to handle this. Just run. No. Parlavi's Parvati is not doing so hot. Sneak around town. No! He's gone where I need to go! Nice and easy. Be a rough one. I do feel very unequipped for robots. Got it. Heads down. Target. 
don't know, I think Parvani Parvati died. Oh, that's what you didn't say last time. Nine steam. You're liable to get scalded. Oh, she just kind of comes back after a bit. Okay. System. Unexpected. Here they come. The area. Ah, beans. Should have been searching them bodies more often. Edgewater Laboratory. There you go. I've made my choice, now I gotta lie with it too. Your something about my reputation has changed, I think. That's what it said on the right there. Deserter's reputation increased. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio's been sputtering and I needed the reference. I'll, I've returned the copy to the repair bay. <clears throat> Chaos everywhere, mechanics gone, paywire, gunfire, hearing some screams on law, I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day, please deduct delinquency fee from my pay. Thank you, proud to be a member of Spacer's Choice family. Oh no. You gotta pay to... Pay to leave. Oh, icky pooey. <laughs> my spleen. Look at my guts. All exposed. Blah, 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 blah. Internal anatomy. Picking up items that belong to other people is a crime. It affects reputation, so be careful what you grab in town. Duh. Security Uh-oh. Uh. Let's get out of here. Oh boy.
I'll look at that later. Since I can't look at myself anyway, oh, this might as well. I don't see the point not, not equipping stuff now. This isn't fashion souls. Wait, did I take the water? F Why am I going to Edgewater? I thought I brought the water out of here. I'm very confused. Did I... Um, did I send water to... I thought I sent water to the other location, did I not? I'm very confused. Did it say suck the energy out of that location and give it to the other? Oh no, don't tell me that's what happened. I think I made a bad choice, guys. I don't know, I can't tell. Uh, that's the second time that's happened where I felt like there's something about the wording of that choice that was like really off-putting. Against my bio churning. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. Oh, I did. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? That power regulator is company product. Oh, of course. Part of the Whatever company. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Oh, that shit's locked. Damn it. Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters. Are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation. Whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Damn it. Combat dialogue abilities. Pick another perk. That one. Mechanism from a limb of a autom auto mechanical. A pretty necklace if you're into that sort of thing. Oh. Oh, my God. 
Oh no! They got me. I just figured it was fun. Damn, this game's rough. The level of escalation is high. Let's try this a little bit more sneakily. Come on, give me a break. There's gotta be something I can do here. He's walking right into me. What am I supposed to do here? Here they come! Examined. As you can see here, the bones are dense. Bird, dog, thing, thick, <laughs> super thick, rich and thick, and it's gonna get thicker. Uh. Oh, oh, oh my God. Take the direct route. D 
Dun, 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 dun. I used to skip rocks in the river until Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. I think she was jealous. Oh. She didn't want to skip rocks her own self. Did that happen because I passed some water? Okay. That's cool. Ah! Ah! Nothing harmed. Getting on this ship. Yeah, what, what up? What can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? No, not really. Oh, I can't do it? Outstanding, Captain. Your oh, attitude sure. engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Up the ladder. There we go. to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Neato. We will fly again! We were only. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were only going a little bit up. We went to another planet. It looks like. Oh boy. Drastic. Well, yeah. Against so, all uh, the unreliable takes flight. It can't rely on it, but it's free. How many jabs? We received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh. Sure. Ha <laughs> there you are. Hey, you're, and hearty. you're alive, you your I think. Ship? I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. Shut up, I'm, I'm alive. Seen, by the way, I lost track of you in that cave. Remember? Right Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing. I assure you. Drippage? Oh no. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has oh. some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. I if see. If we revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. This game's just like, fuck you the board. Ahem. <clears throat> <I have> <clears throat> cough, cough, They'll nudge, help nudge. Help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. It, it will you continue to jab Fallout, no matter what. Black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Nice. Uh, why do I need to slow down? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, oh. and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Excellent. I Captains guess. don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. 
The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Glance called Kelly. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. You do that. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Alright. Sure. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. Well done. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's but only I gotta get that power. Benefits. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Oh boy. Level five. So, this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cool. Cozy like, ain't it? That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA-120. Whoa. A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board certified mechanic. Flyby wire's pretty normal. Or at least ways that's what I read in the trades. Just leave it alone. Let it be. <laughs> Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. I am at your disposal, Ms. Parvati. Hey. You will find the technical schematics in the engineer's locker. Though I'm afraid Captain Hawthorne has lost the owner's manual. I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. Thanks! But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. Oof! Right then. Hold up. I'm gonna go up first. Holographic Shroud. The holographic shroud projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas, provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. Holy moly. Is this something I have to equip?
All right. We'll figure more out next time, though. If you enjoyed this part, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out those links in the description below. We'll head you over to my Discord server or the other to my Patreon page. Any donations are greatly appreciated. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.